So I have a deal for you, Zahara. Beg. Ah! Get down on your hands and knees and beg ah! like a dog. That's crazy. I was not expecting that. <laughs> it was great. <laughs> Excuse me, is this Karen Miller's office? Who are you? Oh, I'm Zahara. I'm a freelance writer, and I heard y'all were looking for writers for new hire. No, I mean, what are you doing coming into my office unannounced like this? Oh, um, I'm sorry. <laughs> Your secretary said that you weren't busy and that I could drop off my resume. My secretary said that? Yeah, I believe her name was Stacy. No, never mind her. I'll have to fire her later. Wow. Should I come back? I mean, I... No. Stay. Stay like a dog. Let's have some fun. Let's have some fun, okay? I'm gonna have to call you back. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day. This is a huge opportunity being in this office. Yeah. What you staring at, COVID? Y'all even wear masks. Y'all gonna catch COVID by breathing. So, Zahara, is it? Where does that name originate from? In Egyptian, it means beautiful. She my is beautiful. Is all kind of mixed up. My dad's dad is from the Caribbean, and my mom. So it's African. Oh. Yes, I thought you meant. That what you thought I meant is not what I was. Asking Obviously, it's at, like. Have you ever heard a white girl named Zahara? That's all. Like, what are you trying to say? Are you stupid? Zahara, do you have a resume with you today? Yes, I did. You seem so sweet, bro. Let's see here. Writer from National Geographic. Ma'am. That's Mrs. Miller to you. Ma'am, Mr. What? Yes. So what made you want to become a writer, Lakeisha? <clears throat> Lakeisha? That's crazy! Bro, how do you hire these actors, bro? Bro's about to get herself canceled. <laughs> Where are you getting these actors to do these things, bro? I I I would bro. Uh -huh. When I was younger, writing was my way to escape. I really, I can I relate, guys. I used to be a little author myself. And now that I'm older, you grew up in war zone. I it's not a video. Oh, okay. <laughs> not me about to say it's not a video game. <laughs> I know that writing is powerful. It is. And I want to use it to shed light to the rest of the world on what's going on in some of these countries, mm -hmm. especially with all the killing with the diamond trade industry. It's one of the reasons that brought me in here today. True, true. Your organization is the largest news organization in the U.S. She's about to post a TikTok and get you canceled, Americans I'm just saying. still watch your network and read your newspapers. 50% so is insane. Out. Is that a true statistic? What, what news organization is this? I don't think 50% of Americans still read the news. I could be wrong. I could be... I feel like... Uh, yeah, I don't know. No. Not one bit, Mrs. Miller. It says here you started Aware Trust in Zimbabwe. Yes. I got my master's in writing here in the States, and I definitely want to return to my roots to give back to impoverished nations. So I take it you're here today because you would like to incorporate your nonprofit into my media company so that you can reach millions of Americans. What? So that you can raise millions and millions of dollars to save the starving children of Africa. Uh, what? Well, I think it's a great cause and shows the humanitarian side of your company. Yeah, it does, but like, what is she trying to say? She's like, is screw those here? kids in Africa. Cross. Are you a Christian, or is that for some rap video? Cross around your neck? Where? I don't even, I don't even see a cross. What? Where's the cross? Am I tripping? They did. They ran out of budget, bro. They couldn't afford the cross for this video. Are you a Christian, or is that for some rap video? I am a Christian. And my mother gave it to me before she passed away. Gave you what, bro? A neck? Yeah, she gave you a neck before you passed away, bro. <laughs> Am I stupid? I can't... She said the cross around your neck. There ain't nothing here, bro. Bunch of cut was crazy, this video. Mm, I would have guessed AIDS. That's what's wrong with you people. Coming over here from your third world country and bringing all your diseases? AIDS is not what? I'm more repulsive. You were the Chinese. Excuse me? Mrs. Miller. Do you have something against me because I'm black? Clearly. <laughs> me? Racist? Of course not. I can't be racist. My shadow is black. Wow. <laughs> we love the analogies here. Clap it up. Clap it up, bro. Ain't no way. She can't be racist because she bought this black chair right here. You see, it's, it's obvious. But off the record, I can't stand you people. This whole affirmative action movement drives me insane. 
By law, I have to hire a certain amount of minorities. Yeah. So I have fun with it. I put the Mexicans in the janitorial positions and the Chinese as delivery boys. That's crazy, bro. How? How do you? How, how did she say she's fine acting this out, bro? I'm worried for this actor. But I don't know exactly where you fit in. What you? Well, how about a porous coming toilet? Coming in here, That's crazy. Asking me for a handout to fund your organization. Didn't ask for no handout. Handout would be no experience. So I have a deal for you, Zahara. Bang. Bro, Get down wild. on your hands and knees and beg. That's like wild! I ain't doing nothing, bro. Maybe, just maybe, I'll find some use for you. That's wild! You write your articles in my newspaper so that you can raise millions and millions of dollars. Bro, to feed like a your dog? starving children. I'll bite you like a dog. And I'll take the credit for it. Because why wouldn't I? Why would why would I want to work for why, what what made your mind make you think that I would be like fine with this bro? No bro, don't you guys have an HR? You guys have a team. You're about to get fired, miss. So go ahead, puppy. Get on the floor. No. Beg mommy for a little biscuit. Yeah, people <laughs> love the power rush. <laughs> yeah, bro. Bro, why are you laughing like some evil villain? Dang, 15 minutes earlier. What? Wait, this is Are you four? sure she won't be able to see this mic? I promise you she won't. She'll have no idea what hit her. This is my biggest story yet. Babe, oh, she's a fake. No matter what happens in there, do not break character. All right, no matter how bad it gets. Oh, they set her up. I'm a big girl. They set her up. Go kick her ass. They knew. <laughs> Bro, how could, she, how could she not see that mic? I guess it was from behind, like, dang. Why is bro still laughing? <laughs> Chill. Get down on the floor and beg mommy for a biscuit. No, she's leaving. Come on, we were just getting started. Oh, they hit the, they hit the Let's mic. Let's have something. some fun. They so we'll have some fun, all right. See you around, Karen. Mm -hmm. You about to get fired, bro. She's, she's like a reporter or something. She, bro. You're done, you're done. I love this, you're done. You're done, bro. How stupid can you be, bro? The next day, Karen Miller was fired as CEO of her own company. <laughs> That's good. Sarah took her to court and won a $14 million lawsuit, all of which was donated to Zahara's nonprofit organization to help out the kids in Africa. Dang, they donated all of it? That's crazy. I would donate like a couple mil, not all of it. How about you get on your knees and beg that I don't sue you? <laughs> stupid. Stupid. That was that, bro. That was actually wild. <laughs> bro, this might be one of the craziest things I think I've reacted to. Like, what? Where do they find these? Bro, what? I can't. I actually can't. That's actually wild, bro. Right, I'll, see, I'll see you guys in the next one. Like, subscribe. Peace.